Until the 13th century, there was no effective treatment for nearsightedness or farsightedness. It was commonly accepted that as a person aged, their eyesight would weaken and they would have to give up reading and other visually demanding activities due to the lack of a cure. It was not until the late 13th century that the first eyeglasses were invented. These early models were quite basic and had to be held in place by hand. As the medieval period came to a close, however, eyeglasses became more widely available and easier to use, thanks to the development of more advanced models. Before eyeglasses were actually invented, the theoretical foundations for their development were already in place. For instance, in 1268, Roger Bacon wrote about how different types of lenses could be used to enlarge letters. This knowledge would later be applied in the creation of eyeglasses. Roger Bacon was not the first to theorize about the use of lenses to improve vision. His teacher, Robert Grosteste, an English bishop in the early 13th century, had already described the use of optics to read small texts from a distance. However, it was not until 1286 that the earliest known eyeglasses were actually invented and used in medieval Europe, in Italy. A manuscript from Florence, dating back to 1289, mentions the use of eyeglasses. By the early 14th century, the production of eyeglasses had become a significant industry, with guilds registered in cities such as Venice. While the first innovations in eyeglass manufacturing occurred in Venice, by the 14th century, Florence had become the center of eyeglass production. The early designs of eyeglasses were quite basic and were primarily intended to help the user read more easily. These early models consisted of two pieces of glass or crystal stones that were sometimes framed and held together with a handle. They were not as advanced as the eyeglasses we have today. To use these early eyeglasses, the user had to hold them up in place with their hands. Some versions had the glasses riveted together so they could be held in place by a handle that rested on the nose, freeing the user's hands. Most early eyeglasses featured convex lenses. These early glasses were not as convenient or comfortable to use as modern eyeglasses. By the late medieval period, eyeglasses had become widely available throughout Europe. Italy continued to be a major center of eyeglass manufacturing, but other regions such as medieval Germany also emerged as important centers of production. The popularity of eyeglasses had grown significantly since their inception in the late 13th century. In the 16th century, a significant advancement in eyeglasses occurred with the use of concave lenses. These lenses were specifically designed for use by nearsighted people and allowed them to see more clearly. By the end of the medieval period, the frames of eyeglasses had also undergone some changes, with the use of bone, metal, and leather mountings becoming more common. These innovations helped to make eyeglasses more comfortable and functional for the user. During the late medieval period, eyeglasses became a popular accessory for artists and were frequently depicted in art. The earliest recorded depiction of eyeglasses in art is a series of portraits painted by Thomas de Medina in 1352 that shows the subjects wearing glasses. This demonstrates the growing popularity of acceptance of eyeglasses during this time period. As eyeglasses became more common, other artists and painters also began incorporating characters wearing eyeglasses in their works. Often, a character depicted wearing eyeglasses would be seen as representing someone who was highly educated, sophisticated, or elderly. The use of eyeglasses in art became a way of conveying certain characteristics or qualities about the depicted person. Join us again soon as we continue to explore the rich and fascinating history of the Middle Ages. Thanks for watching.